complete. The biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. For years, Congress has required biometric entry exit visa tracking systems. In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. Okay, so if you forgot your ticket to a, a game, a soccer game in Argentina, it's not a problem because you can use the microchip that's been embedded under your skin. So let's see if we can get into this particular. This is the, how I do it. Barakatayahawah, 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 Barakatayahawah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Basim, Yahweh, Shah, Basim, or Kagadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And Barakatham to you brothers as I teach in this truth with faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay. And uh, this article is uh, on thefrankreport.com. And it was published March 28th, 2020. And the title reads, Are implants part of the future? Part of your future? As governments and Bill Gates seek to kill two birds with one stone. ID and coronavirus tracking. Okay. And the, and the title says it all, man. Are implants part of your future? Because these implants are going to be made mandatory. Mainly because of uh, the coronavirus, man. This thing has been, <laughs> been blown way out of proportion in, in the mainstream media, okay? Because different brothers have been posting up videos of of how uh, these uh, hospitals, like in New York, are basically empty, man. When the government, when the mainstream media is making it look like it's it's bad, and that they don't have enough, you know, equipment for the hospital. When you go out there on the streets and look, <laughs> there's nobody in the hospital. There's nobody waiting in lines to get checked for the coronavirus or anything, man. And this thing is all designed <clears throat> by these elite banking families, man. And it's going to get to that point. Well, they're going to send out the National Guard and the military out on the streets and forcefully keep you people in your houses. Because right now, you could still go out right now, you know, under that stay-at-home uh, order. You could still go out. You could still go to grocery stores. and But <laughs> but this shit is going to get way worse than that, man. Pretty soon, you're not going to be able to you're not going to really be able to go out out of your house, man. And if you do, you're breaking the law. Okay? And I also have another article queued up. And this is the, the fintechtimes.com. And this is speaking about how Elon, Elon Musk Neuralink could reshape entire economies. And I only want to read a couple of uh, paragraphs from here. And there's a lot of information on this page right here. And it says. Uh, I'll read right here. This art, this uh, paragraph, it says Neuralink is a device that's implanted into the brain. Known as a brain machine interface or brain computer interface. There are many different types of implantable or external BMIs currently in development, okay? And basically you get the point. It's a chip, it's a microchip that's implanted into your brain. Okay? 
which is basically the same thing as what uh Elon uh Bill Gates and uh the government's trying to do that ID twenty twenty <laughs> ID twenty twenty <laughs> The shit, it has 2020 in his name, which means it's more than likely going to happen this year, man. And if you search up that ID 2020, it's a, uh, it's a company by Bill Gates. And he wants everyone to have a digital, digital identity. Basically, it's going to be on the tip that's going to be, have to be implanted into your arm. And... When they get these vaccines out here for the coronavirus, which is already made up, okay, in order to go back to work, you know, in order to buy and sell, you're going to need to have that chip because you can't work unless you have that chip because they're going to want proof of your uh, coronavirus vaccination, okay? And I also wanted to get one more part of this article. I had read over it before I did this video. Here it is right here. You know, starting your car with Neuralink would mean we no longer need to produce car keys, keychains, or maybe even car alarms. How about no longer needing a keyboard and mouse for your computer, a remote for your TV? The examples go on and on. Finally, even though it's still considered to be far off in the future, for now, <laughs> this thing is right here, man, because Elon Musk, uh, last year, in July of 2019, he promised to put one of those tips in the first human being this year, okay? So a lot of things are happen are going to happen this year, man. The year of prophecy, man. And how can BMIs change the current education system? Imagine when we are able to instantly access and interpret information from the internet directly into our brains. Okay? And this thing, <laughs> this thing right here is going to be something else, man. Because not on Esau, Elon Musk is, uh, you know, building that Neuralink. Uh, he calls it the Neuralace for like medical uh, conditions, you know, like Alzheimer's and paralysis, you know. But it's also going to be used to create super soldiers, man. And those soldiers are going to be up and they're going to go fight against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah when he comes back. And I know I'm all over the place, but let me go ahead and get some scriptures, okay? And I'm going right to Revelation. <laughs> Revelation chapter 13. Verse 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone and Shalom to the hopefully elect. I hope you are edified.